So Basehead now supports UCS. There is a, um, a website for UCS, uh, the universalcategorysystem.com, uh, where all the information is available on how you can tag your files and, uh, and basically the categories and stuff that are all supported, uh, a nice video and everything. Uh, the part that we're interested in having a look at is uh, under the Access Now button here. Uh, there is a uh, Google folder, lots of information there. We're specifically interested in the category system. So the category system is the category and subcategory information uh, that will be used to populate uh, the uh, Basehead database when we import files. And this will be based on what is called the category ID tag that is added onto your sound files. So this category ID tag is an abbreviated version of the category and subcategory tags that's added onto the front of your sound files. And when Basehead detects this, it will automatically fill in the category and subcategory information. Uh, so let's have a look at uh, basically how this will look. So here is a, uh, a library of uh, files here that uh, we've got this category ID tacked onto the front. Now this information uh, doesn't actually even have to be supported in the metadata of the file. There can be absolutely no metadata in these files, but with this tag on the front of the file, Basehead can automatically populate the category and subcategory information. Uh, so first of all, in the options of Basehead here, we have this option UCS template, which by default should be set to the UCS version 8.0. Uh, as the uh, templates from UCS are updated, these will be uh, updated also in, um, uh, in Basehead. Uh, but we also have conversions to different languages as well. So these again come directly from the UCS uh, database. And um, these can be selected depending on which language you would like to have the categories populated to. What I'm gonna do uh, just to demonstrate how the uh, importing works is first of all, I'm just gonna disable the UCS template and I'm going to import these UCS files into Basehead and we'll have a look at what the information looks like before we uh, import some UCS data. And so what I'm going to do is just drag this into Basehead and create a brand new import. Uh, so I'm just going to call this UCS and I'm just going to import these files. Looking at the uh, information here, we've got category and subcategory information, uh, but you can see that there's a number of holes in the information. Also, these are not uh, UCS tags at all. This is uh, all just uh, random tags. Uh, some of it's been filled in. You can see here Basehead has attempted to fill in the category automatically from the folder name. Uh, so this is what I would consider a bit of a mess in regards to trying to browse. Uh, so what we're going to do is we're going to now um, just delete this library and uh, I'm going to activate the UCS system and uh, have a look at the importing options that are available. Okay, so now we've updated uh, or we've set UCS to be active. Before we start importing our files, there's just one thing that uh, we need to be aware of. Uh, first of all, if we press the F4 key on the keyboard to bring up the metadata chunks window, there's this UCS option. This will determine whether the information imported is in a high or a low priority. Now, what does this mean? Uh, if I click on this little button here, uh, it toggles between high and low, and you can hover over uh, this option here and get a little bit of a description. But basically, this means that if we set the option to low, what uh, Basehead will do is it will import UCS category data if the category and subcategory fields are empty. So if there's no metadata within the file for category and subcategory and a category ID tag is found on the front of a file, then it will automatically populate the category and subcategory fields for us. But if existing data is already within the metadata, then it will skip over the category ID. When we set it to high, uh, it will automatically override any metadata that's within the file. So it will take the category ID that's found on the front of the file and it will populate the category and subcategory uh, automatically and override any information. So that's the uh, preferred setting if you want all of your media to make sure it conforms to that um, uh, UCS format, the UCS category tagging. 
If a category ID is not found on a file, then uh, this doesn't even apply. Uh, it will just read the metadata. If no metadata is available, nothing is loaded into the field. So this is only applicable if that category and subcategory tag is found on the front of the file. So this particular tag right here before the underscore. Uh, so we've got the UCS template set. Uh, we've got the option set to low. And what I'm gonna do is import that folder again. Again, just calling it UCS. And this time we'll see that uh, all of the records have been filled in and you'll notice that uh, even though some of the, uh, I mean, all of the UCS tags should be in uppercase, uh, but we can see that we've still got some lowercase ones. We've got uh, tags that are not actually UCS compliant. And this is because we imported with a low priority. Uh, so having this option set to low, all it's done is basically filled in any of the gaps in the category and subcategory fields and uh, not overwritten any of the existing uh, metadata. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to update all of this to be UCS compliant because as we can see from the file names these all have a UCS category ID tag on the front of the files. Uh, now what I, I don't have to delete this database and then re-add it and uh, you know making sure that I've got this set to high. What I can do is just make sure that I've got the option set high here and if I've got existing files in my database that I would like to update and force an update of this UCS data, there's a database menu option. Um, up here, refresh UCS template metadata. If I trigger this and I have the option set to uh, import with high priority, this will now update all of the tags with UCS data. And so now we can see that all of the uh, tags for the category and subcategory are now tagged based off of the universal category ID. And so this is a, uh, a very easy way of being able to populate a database uh, for searching. Uh, and what makes this even more flexible is the uh, new UCS menu option here. So the UCS browser. So if we switch to the UCS browser tab here, uh, in this tab, we have all of the categories and opening up a category, we have all of the subcategories available, uh, not only just to browse, but to also allow us to re-tag our database files if we need to. Uh, so if we've got existing files that we would like to uh, update with UCS tagging, we can do all of that in Basehead with uh, uh, very easy drag and drop features. So first of all, uh, let's have a look at uh, just filtering through. So if I click on the ambience tag here, one thing that you'll notice is that uh, I get a lot of these files here that do have ambience in the category field but aren't UCS compliant file names. Um, now this is because Basehead also will pick up any media that you've got that has any of these tags associated in the category or subcategory fields. It doesn't have to be exactly matched, it just has to find that name in the category or this name in the subcategory to populate them here. So you can see that I've got a number here, number of files here that have ambience in the file name. So Basehead has automatically assigned them into this category browser as well. So that's an extra benefit of this, uh, this little category browser. Uh, but scrolling down to the bottom here, I can see that I've got the uh, UCS files that I've imported. Um, so we've got some industrial ambience, some rural, some seaside. Uh, and of course, if I select uh, industrial, for instance, I get my industrial files listed. Uh, this is a dynamic browser library. So as I add more files that have the um, category and subcategory tagging, these will be automatically populated into the category nodes here as well. Okay, so what I'm gonna do now is I'm going to um, have a look at tagging uh, some files. So re-tagging my own database files. So if I go into my uh, field recordings, for instance, I've got a number of field recordings here uh, that um, have uh, category and subcategory tagging, uh, but uh, it doesn't conform to UCS standards. What I would like to do is update my own information, my own files uh, with some UCS uh, tagging. So what I'm gonna do is leave this import library open switch over to the UCS tags. And now I'm going to have a look and see how I can tag my files. Uh, so let's have a look at um, these files, for example, a little party blower. Uh, so we've got this little party horn here. Uh, exactly what I would tag it to uh, depends on what the description of the um, categories is. Um, so I've tagged this as a whistle 
or a horn. Uh, so I'm going to go straight down to whistles here and I'm just going to check this out and see if this would be um, this would be suitable. Now in the UCS browser, there's some built-in information that makes this job much, much easier. So if I hover over, let's say the mechanical option here, it comes up with the explanation for that particular category. Uh, and it also comes up with synonyms. So basically like words that would, you know, that you would use to classify a sound. Uh, so I can see here that this doesn't really suit this particular um, option. Uh, neither does human, that's for a human whistle. Uh, miscellaneous, I could put it under there, but it's not really, I mean, this isn't really a whistle. So uh, maybe there's a horn option up here. So if I scroll up and go to uh, the H area, I can see there are horns. So I'm going to open this up. Uh, inside here, there's this celebration option. So if I just hover the mouse over here, uh, it says party horns from small party horns. And uh, basically this is exactly what I want. So I'm gonna select a couple of these files and all I need to do is click and then drag these straight onto the uh, tag that I want. Now it comes up with a warning and this warning is purely to stop you from accidentally dragging files maybe into a door and accidentally dropping them on the categories. Uh, it just basically says, uh, it's going to tag these and there's a couple of things here that should be mentioned. I'm just going to select no at this and just point this one out. At the top here, we've got the settings option. So if we're in the UCS tab and we click this little settings gear option, we have two options that apply when we do re-tagging. So one is to add the category ID to the file name. Now what this will do is this will physically add that category ID abbreviated tag to the front of the file name so that um, another program such as Adore can pick that up and automatically classify the sound as well. If we don't want our files to be renamed, we just need to make sure that we deselect this option. So you can see I've got this deselected, so it's not gonna rename the file. It is only going to put the uh, data into the metadata of the file. So burn metadata into file means that it's going to write that directly into the IXML data of the file. Uh, if I deselect both of these, then I can still re-tag these files, but it's only going to apply within the database. It's not gonna actually be applied to the file. If I then rescan these files or re-import these, these files again later at a later stage, that category ID will now be gone, it will revert back to this. So if I wanted to update these, so at, at this stage what I would like to do is update these actual tags here, so I'm going to burn the metadata into the file. And then I just click, drag and drop straight onto the, uh, onto the tag that I want. Now, a hint here is if you want to do this uh, and, and speed up the process, then you can hold down the Alt key when dragging and that will remove this warning message. And so you can see now that these have now been updated and that information has been written into the, uh, written into the files. Now you can do this manually. Uh, we don't have to click and drag. We can simply select a file and then in the category and subcategory fields of the details panel, uh, we can rename this and uh, simply type it in. And that will instantly put it into the collection as well.